The uh, economic outlook for the Caucasus and Central Asia is broadly positive. The oil and gas exporting countries of the region, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan, are benefiting from high oil prices. Uh, and the oil and gas importing countries of the region, Armenia, Georgia, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, are benefiting from strong export growth and a recovery in remittances from their workers that are in Russia. Overall for the region, we're forecasting growth uh, in the range of about 55 to 6.5% in both 2011 and 2012. To create the right macroeconomic environment for sustained growth, I think it's important for policymakers now to focus more on bringing inflation down. Inflation has risen uh, quite sharply in the last couple of years, driven mainly by high food and fuel prices, but also we're beginning to see that um, um, uh, transmitting into broader measures of inflation. Um, so I think provided the strong recovery in the region continues, uh, it's time for policy makers to, to um, think about tightening the macroeconomic policy stance. Uh, they need to bring down their budget deficits uh, and they need to tighten monetary policy. In the South Caucasus uh, countries, there are uh, unofficial estimates that's, that put unemployment as high as 10% or even up to 30% in some countries. Uh, and the rates for the young people uh, are even higher. I think the key reforms that are needed to address this and create more jobs uh, relate to improving the business environment, particularly uh, in the non-natural resource sectors of the economy where there's most scope for uh, creating jobs. And also reforms to the education system and training uh, uh, are important to ensure that young people come out of uh, school and college with the right skills that are needed for the jobs that are being created.